Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome to episode one of This May Contain Nuts. You're probably wondering what on earth is episode one of This May Contain Nuts. Well, let me explain. A few months ago, I put out a video where I said that I was going to create a series where I just drive and talk. Okay, and I would ask, answer your questions. You would ask questions, I would answer them. Well, I asked you for names of, of, of for the video. You may remember leaving loads of comments. I read through all the comments and eventually settled on one name, and that was this one. This may contain nuts. It, I kind of liked it because, well, it, because this may contain absolutely anything. Um, because I don't know what I'm going to be answering. You're going to ask, ask the questions, and I'm going to answer them. Uh, because of that, I thought this may contain nuts is exactly that it may contain complete and utter nuts plus it's also highly appropriate for my your name name being squirrel and all the rest of it so yeah that's what i decided on um i may not always use your truck for this series let me just put that out there right now i may you know do an omsi drive i may do anything else it could be american truck when that comes out it could be any other kind of game where i can do a journey and talk about things could even be train sim but this may contain nuts is entirely if you like the content of it is you you are the people who are going to help create this video series uh you're going to ask questions it's essentially an ask me anything and i'm going to answer them i've just filled up with some fuel and then i'm going to talk about how you ask me questions uh how we're going to do that whilst driving in my lovely scanner here let me get it started there we go put some lights on I've gone for an R480, uh, as you can see, it's a 4x2. We've got 121 Euro truck here, and we've also got the new accessories, as you can see. Now, the accessories pack was a, a DLC re released by SCS not long ago, and it allows you to configure the inside of the cab uh, with accessories, funnily enough. As you can see, we've got this little penance thing hanging. Me, myself, um, I'm a kind of a, a minimalist person in the cab. It's just my particular style. You can put curtains in here. I don't put curtains in, in trucks. Personal preferences, I absolutely hate them. Um, apart from being used for sleeping, I don't like decorative curtains. That's just my view. Feel free to use curtains in your trucks if you like them. I've also got a dangling uh, fluffy dice. You can have skulls and all kinds of weird and wonderful things. Uh, on the dash there is a bobbing head. little dog and down here is what looks like an iPhone. You can choose different accessories. Unfortunately, the DLC is, is a paid DLC this time. Uh, you don't get to... to break it off. As you can see, they kind of move. See that? The bobby. <laughs> I mean, I do like the physics, you know? Look at this. I do love the physics. I think that's so awesome. We have had some stuff like this in, in mods, funnily enough. Decorative things in mods, but... First time we've had it in the official Euro Truck. Uh, not much use for people in multiplayer, It's because obviously it's an internal thing, but, you know, it can make your driving a little bit more fun, I guess. Right, it's up to you whether you want to get it or not. It is a paid DLC this time, like I say, but I've got it. Let's go and get this, um, this bit of cargo. We're going to take a diesel trailer. Uh, I think it's 25 tons of diesel. It's quite a lot of diesel. And we're taking it from... Uh, is it showing me the job list yet? No, not yet. Whoopsie, monkey. Uh, right here. Okay. It's just around the corner. Like I say, I just filled up on fuel. They have improved... As you can probably tell by the audio, actually, in 121. They've improved the internal audio. And it kind of sounds pretty nice, I have to admit. Some maintenance fixes, lots of fixes to the maps in 121. Uh, mostly, like, like they've said, a maintenance release. The big thing was the DLC. If you can't be bothered to pay for it, then maybe just wait until it goes on a Steam sale, which I'm sure it will at Christmas, if not before. You should be able to get it relatively cheaply then. It's a kind of a fun DLC more than anything. It's not, you know, it doesn't really have any massive practical use. It's just a decorative thing. But it's entirely optional. I think you do need 121 to use it though. I think they put some stuff in 121 to support the physics. Okay, just down the road we're going to pick up this trailer and then we're going to talk about 
this may contain nuts and how you can ask me questions and how I'm going to collate them, how the whole thing is going to work. And I do need your questions because, like I say, this series is going to be created out of your content. Come on, dude. Okay, in here somewhere. There it is. Funnily enough, I, I don't know if you guys have found that the frame rate's not been particularly great on Eurotruck of late. Uh, I've kind of found that, even though I've got a very high spec machine. Uh, the frame rate's been a little bit weird, tanky in some places. Uh, I've turned off the HDR bloom, the HDR effects, and it seems to have improved things a little bit, but not massively. But it's definitely improved over what it was. Debrecken to Bibistrica, however you say that, in, Slovi in Slovakia. Is that what we call Slovakia, I think? Yeah, Slovakia. Right, let's get this thing. But yeah, I'm still not happy with the frame rates. Every other game I've got, with the possible exception of Flight Simulator, I get amazing frames, but I don't know, Eurotruck, last couple of releases? Struggle to get some smooth gameplay, to be honest. I know they use their own custom graphics engine. Let's put the main lights on now. So, right, let's have a look at this trailer before we set out. There you go, warning chemicals. Quite a nice little trailer. Although the shadowing looks a bit... The shadowing underneath the trailer looks a little bit wrong, doesn't it? Looks a bit too intense, it's like super black. So that's not right. But I like the trailer itself. I don't know which trailer pack it comes from. I've got various installed. I was saying on my stream the other day, actually. It would be kind of cool if when you clicked on a job if, if in the in the job list, if when you highlighted it, it popped up a little display to say which mod pack it was coming from. Because people say to me, oh, Squirrel, which, um, which mod pack was that trailer out of? And I'm like, I don't know. I can hazard a guess, but I can't tell you definitively because I use quite a few um, packs, you see. And I'm always chopping things around, so I genuinely don't know sometimes where things have come from. Well, that appears to be fairly clear. That's it. You sit there, pal. Like a good little AI. Nice light change. Right, so let's talk about some stuff. So what is the point of this Make It Say Nuts? Well, essentially, like I say, it's an ask me anything. You can ask me a question. Um, could be absolutely anything. Could be game related. You might be asking me my opinion of something. Uh, it could be a, you know, will you play this squirrel? Or why don't you play this squirrel? Whatever it is, you can ask. Now... I am not obliged to answer. Let me just put that out there straight away. Just because you ask it, doesn't mean Sam gonna answer it. I am fairly unlikely to answer any questions that are, um, well, too personal, for a start. You know, like, what's your address, squirrel? You know, <laughs> that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> or anything that's, uh, you know, too political, or of a religious nature, <coughs> I'm just not likely to answer those questions. Um, I'm not going to answer any technical support questions such as, you know, how do I get promos to work with Russian maps on Eurotruck 121 Squirrel? It's just no. That's not the point. The idea of the Ask Me Anything is to, like, increase interaction between me and you. Yeah, to have a little fun, to produce something interesting and most definitely not to start a comment war. So I'm not going to start answering questions about do you think iOS is better than Android? Because if I give my opinion on anything like that, straight away it's going to start a comment war. Okay, so when I read the question that you ask, I'm going to look at it and think, you know, is that interesting? Can I, can I make that interesting to answer? Uh, is that going to be something that's going to be divisive in the comments? This is meant to be entertainment, so that's, you know, I'm going to pick the questions based on something that I think 
will be interesting for you to listen to my answer to and isn't going to create a problem. But feel free to ask anything you like. I just reserve the right to ignore it. So that aside, if you want to ask me a question, it's quite simple. We're going to use Twitter. We're going to use Twitter hashtags. Right, what's a hashtag, Squirrel? Well, a hashtag is when you put the, the hash or the pound sign in front of it, as the Americans call it. You know, the kind of uh, two vertical and two horizontal lines. That's the hash. You put that and then something after it, and that's called a hashtag. And it's a way of associating tweets around a particular um, a particular subject. In this case, the subject is going to be an episode of This May Contain Nuts. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, all it needs from your point of view is you just need a Twitter account. That's all you need. You need a Twitter account in order to ask me a question. That's not a tall ask. If you don't have a Twitter account, it, you can create one for free and in about five minutes. So what you do is create a Twitter account, uh, go to my Twitter, which is SQRLTV. That's SQRLTV. Go and follow that. Right, and then you'll get tweets from me. Yay! And then just post your question and put the hashtag in it. I'll tell you what hashtag to use in a minute. That's it. That's all you've got to do. You can you think of a question and you just post it in Twitter with the ha with the correct hashtag. And, you know, I'll pick it up, look through it. And if I like it, I'll pick it up and I'll show it in the video. I'll show your name with your question and then I'll answer it. I'll talk about it. That's the whole point. Pretty simple, really. So you just need a Twitter account, and then you need to know how to use Twitter a little bit. Which lane do I need to be in here? Possibly the left lane, I'm thinking. Got a feeling, yep, that lane's just going to move off. Are you going to let me over? Thank you. There were some tweaks to the AI. I wonder if that was one of them. Blimey. Usually they don't let you do that. So, for example, if you wanted to ask me a question, right, you could put, uh, Hey Paul, what made you choose the name Squirrel? And then put hashtag TMCN001. So, what the heck is that? Hashtag TMCN001. Well, hash is the hashtag, TMCN is this may contain nuts, and 001 is the episode number. So, what I want you to do is ask your question and hashtag it with the next episode number, yeah? So, this is episode one right now. So if you was asking a question for this episode, you would put hashtag TMCN001, because it's episode one of This Men Contain Nuts. If you want to ans ask me a question for the next episode, which I'm sure you do, because you're probably already sitting there at Twitter already. If you want to ask me a question for the next episode, then put hashtag TMCN002. That's it. So when episode 2 comes out, we're going to change the hashtag. Now, the reason I'm, I'm rotating the number is because then, you know, I can ignore questions from the previous episodes. I don't, it doesn't all get muddled together. So when episode 2 comes out, the hashtag will be 003 for the next episode and so on. And what I then do is, you know, when it's convenient for me, I sit down, I look through the Twitter hashtag, I look at all the questions that have been asked, and uh, I'll select some questions that I think might be interesting. And uh, if you ask me a question and you follow me on Twitter, then I'll lift it out and I'll answer it. That's it. That's how simple it is. Please do not, please do not at mention me, okay? Do not ask your question and then put at SQRLTV. Do not do that. That is going to fill up my, my Twitter feed, okay? And I don't want that. I might, get, I might get asked hundreds of questions, and I cannot have them all flooding in my Twitter feed, nor do I want you to email them in, nor do I want you to post them in the comments section. I'm not going to answer questions in the comments, I'm not going to answer questions in the emails, nor am I going to answer your question if you at mention me. And if you keep at mentioning me, I'm going to have to block you, because I do not want my Twitter feed filling up. I'm sorry if that sounds really harsh, but from my point of view, I need this to be as simple as possible. And the hashtag is 
really is super easy for me because I don't have to manage anything. I don't need to take emails and copy them somewhere and remember to deal with them. I don't, you know, have to look through my Twitter feed and go, oh my God, you know, wh which are questions for TMCN and which are questions for something. I don't have none of that mess. I can just click on the hashtag and go and look at all the questions in one go. It's really easy for me. So please do not at mention me and don't email and don't post comments, okay, with the questions. Use the Twitter hashtag. If you do that, I'm highly likely to answer your question. If you don't do that, I'm 100% likely not to. So that makes it easy for me. I hope it's easy for you because you can just post a question with the right hashtag. And that's all you have to do. If I don't answer your question, well then maybe you could post it on the next episode's hashtag. Maybe. Or think of a different one. There could be a reason why I'm not answering it. The other thing about Twitter is, if, if you know, if you ask the question, make sure you're following me. Because if I need to ask you something else about the question, I can just direct message you on Twitter. I can just DM you, go, hey, you know you asked this question. Did you mean this, this, and this? Or did you mean blah, blah, blah? It's super easy and it's really quick for me. So how will you know if I've read your question? Well, you won't. That's the, you, you just literally won't. It's no different to an email. You won't know if I've read it, okay? But you will know that I'm reading them because I'll be lifting people's questions out of the hashtag and answering them. So you will know that it's working. But if I don't answer your question, if you post it on two episodes, say this one and the next one, and I don't answer it, chances are I'm not going to. But I think, you know, that I think this can work really well. I think that if you ask loads of questions, I'll have lots of content to make. I can make this into a weekly thing. Obviously, if I'm not getting the questions coming in quickly enough, then I can't make a weekly episode. I'd like to make a weekly episode. I think, you know, I could put all kinds of stuff in here. We could be, um, it could be questions from you. I can also pad it out with a bit of other content about uh, what games are coming out next week or what I'm looking forward to doing, plans, anything like this. I could kind of bundle it up as well as your questions but the more questions that you ask um, the more chance the more content I've got to make with as I've said before part of the reason why I've not been doing these long kind of Eurotrek journeys is because there's I've kind of run out of stuff to say about the game and all that's really left is is stuff about me or stuff about gaming so that's why I came up with this idea of um, making it interactive between I think you'll let me go won't you you gonna move over pal no Okay. I thought you might change lane, but never mind. I think that's why it'll work, because I can, I can use your questions to kind of create the content. And plus, it's just massively interactive. You know, you can actually feel like you're able to reach out and ask me a question and I can answer it. And I think that's really good for everybody. Nice water tower there, look at that. That is that reminds me of Daisy, that water tower. I think the one in Daisy was red, I think it was. But it's very typical of this area, that kind of water tower. I'm gonna move in that lane right now before that AI car bags that lane on my behalf. So, like I say, you can you can ask as many questions as you like. Okay? There's no restriction on how many you can ask. But please, only do one question per tweet. Don't put multiple questions in one tweet. I know Twitter has a limit anyway, but of 140 characters. Just So just, I mean, that's the other thing for using Twitter, is it keeps the question nice and short and punchy. Don't spread a question, you know, a really, really big question over three tweets. Keep it nice and simple. 140 characters is plenty to ask a question with the hashtag. And it lets me look at it and go, no, no, yes, we'll take that one. No, no, yes, we'll have that one. Right. Left turn coming up. Fuel station 200 meters. Not that I need a fuel station.
you can ask any question you like you, you know it could be uh, I'm going to pick things like funny ones I'm going to pick things that I think you'll be interested in hearing about um, anything and everything I, I really don't mind what you post I've no idea what you're going to post I mean obviously you know please don't be rude or insulting or ask anything like I said of a personal nature but apart from that I'm open to any question really you know have you got any advice like the classic ones have you got any advice for starting on YouTube is the classic one or where did the name squirrel come from you know <laughs> these are the common questions and I thought if we did a series we can just answer them once and for all and you can just watch the videos back and learn a whole lot of stuff about me or my opinions on things or whatever it is really like I say if you don't have Twitter go and create one it'll take you 10 minutes really really simple but that's it that's that's essentially how you're gonna ask the questions uh, if you look in the video description I'll leave a sample question for you so that you know how you, how to in case you're new to Twitter really and you don't know what hashtags are uh, the next hashtag that you need to use is TMCN002 I'll leave a sample question uh, all you got to do is post that message on Twitter that's all you need to do if you then click on the hashtag you'll see everybody else's questions and that's a really cool thing is it's all gonna be transparent you can see all the questions that people are asking me and I can see them all at a glance and I can just lift them out and answer them so I think this is this will work really well with Twitter right so that's that's basically that um, now let me let me mention something else it's definitely worth signing up on Twitter and following me for another reason pretty soon I'm gonna be running some competitions okay giveaways if you like and I'm going to undoubtedly be using Twitter for that so you will need to be following me on Twitter if you want to win anything uh, which I'm sure you do because freebies are always good right <laughs> so create a Twitter account make sure you hit follow and uh, you're gonna need it so do that and do that now and you'll be you'll be set SQRL TV is my Twitter name now the big thing I'm going to give away soon uh, there is going to be a review video of a, of a Logitech G920 okay I'm going to, have to do a review video of the 920 which is the new wheel from Logitech it replaces the G27 you probably know that I've used the G27 uh, for just over two and a half years all right long time I've had my G27 it has done me proud but I have now got Logitech G920 I shall be doing a video where I review the G920 and then I'm gonna do a giveaway of my original G27 yep my original Logitech G27 is going to be signed by me and sent to one very very lucky fan now any any big fans of my channel this is going to be a massive big deal for you not only will you get the G27 right I'll even throw in a squirrel cap and this thing will be signed by me so you get G27 from me, the one I've used on pretty much all of my Eurotruck videos, all of my streams, the original one. I shall give it a clean, but you know, bear in mind it is two and a half years old, it's not brand new. It is the original deal. And that is going to be a big deal for anybody, I think. Uh, so that's going to come soon. My plan is to try and get that done uh, October, November, so I can get it to you in time for Christmas. So. It's probably going to be an amazing Christmas present for somebody. Uh, but the question, the, the, the whole giveaway format is probably going to involve some questions uh, to, to kind of weed out who are the Squirrel fans amongst you. Because I will be asking about some of my previous uh, videos. So if you've watched my content, then you know, you're going to be in with a very good chance of winning that. If you haven't watched my content very much, then sadly you probably won't be able to answer the questions. Which means the wheel will go to somebody who's actually a big fan which is exactly what I want I wanted to go to somebody who is a big fan but I will be doing other giveaways apart from that is that guy going left here um, and I will be using Twitter to do it so like I say make sure you uh, make sure you get yourself followed are you actually staying there or are you going it's kind of weird very strange junction having the giveaway set so far back it's really weird that. Whoopsie, one key again. I want to press F5. Check how far we've got. 
So yeah, G920 review, in case you're thinking about getting one for Christmas, watch out for that. I've been using it, I'm going to compare it against the G27, and you can then make an informed choice about whether you want to buy it or not. Uh, so just to answer one question, like, because it wouldn't be an episode of This Men Contain Nuts if I didn't actually answer probably the number one question that gets asked. Which is, where did the name Squirrel come from? Like, like why squirrels? Well, let me answer that one. Episode one, we're going to answer that question. The numero uno question. Way back when, and we're going back, I think, four years now, 2011 when I created my YouTube channel, just before I created my YouTube channel, I was playing Battlefield 3 on the PlayStation 3. And I had to create a PlayStation 3 account name. PlayStation 3 account names, I think, are 16 characters long, or up to 16 characters long. Now, I like squirrels, don't ask me why, I, I I just find them interesting, I think they're clever animals, I think they're really pleasant animals. Um, I love that when they run, I love that kind of, that wave motion they have when they run, you know what I mean? Like up and down, I don't know, I can't describe it, but you've seen them when they run. They're so cool, they're so cute. And I wanted something around squirrels, so I looked on PlayStation 3, tried to create an account. Uh, on the PlayStation Network, and I tried to call it Squirrel, you know, all the rest of it. Not a chance. Already gone. So I thought, what about Squirrel, uh, Squirrel Nuts? Squirrel's Nuts? Nope, they'd already gone as well. Okay. What about The Squirrel's Nuts? Aha, that was free. The Squirrel's Nuts. Kind of reminds me of something to do with a dog. The dogs, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that last word. I'm sure you know what that is. Uh, the Squirrel's Nuts, or it kind of had a few few uh, meanings to its name. The squirrel is nuts, the squirrel likes nuts, like the squirrel's nuts, I just kind of liked it. So I went with it. I created that. Then, later on, I went to uh, create an Xbox account. And Xbox only allows 15 character names, really annoyingly, as does uh, Origin and the online Battlefield site, right? So, you're allowed 15 characters. Now, the squirrel's nuts is actually 16 characters, I believe. Which meant I had to shorten it somehow. Hence, I ended up with the squirrel's nuts, D-A. Rather than the, ended up with the. The squirrel's nuts. That fits into 15 characters. So, I had that for my origin name, and I had that for my Xbox name. And then I also used it when I created my YouTube channel. I created it with the squirrel's nuts. So everything was the Squirrel's Nuts, apart from my PlayStation, which was the Squirrel's Nuts. And PlayStation, unlike Xbox, does not allow you to rename your PlayStation name. And they still don't to this day. Massively annoying. So I ended up with the Squirrel's Nuts, and that basically was the way it was for a few years. So fast forward now, and uh, we're in 2014. 14, I think it was when I did this uh, I noticed on YouTube and on Twitch bizarrely enough that the word squirrel had become available I think YouTube had a massive clear out right when it changed its policy about uh, channel creation where they would generate a random name for you until you had so many subs and then you could get a, a proper permanent name they had a massive clear out of dead channels and one of them just happened to be squirrel and I don't know how or when that happened, but I noticed it somehow. And then I looked on Twitch, and amazingly, the same was true on Twitch. So I asked YouTube and I asked Twitch, can I please have this name, Squirrel, rather than the Squirrel's Nuts? Can I have Squirrel? Because it'd be good for my branding, it's easy to remember, all the rest of it. I better get the right gear, Paul. Um, and that's that. That's how I moved from the squirrel's nuts or the squirrel's nuts to squirrel so at the same time i then changed the names of my twitter and facebook and all the rest of it to i couldn't have squirrel unfortunately i tried to get twitter at squirrel but the uh the person who currently holds it was not interested in they, they just like squirrels and they're like nope i don't want to release it to you i don't want to sell it to you nope 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 i'm having squirrel so i had to go with sqrl tv uh so which is what i went for but that's the story of um, how I ended up going with Squirrel. And so what I did was I, I restylized the channel. I just called it Squirrel Everywhere. 
Which I was doing anyway, to be fair, but the underlying name was the Squirrel's Nuts. But that's where it came from. It came from essentially a weird... A weird kind of... Xbox origin restriction on 15 characters, and that's where that name came from, and then eventually I simplified it down to Squirrel. I hope that explains the origin of the name, but I am now just called Squirrel, which I think is a heck of a lot easier to remember. It certainly looks better uh, when you just put youtube.com slash squirrel or twitch.tv slash squirrel. It's so much easier to deal with. Keep getting the wrong uh, gear. Look at them tandems in the AI. How awesome's that? Courtesy of, I think, Jazzy Cat's mod. Looks really cool. I'm wondering if at some point SCS will put in multiple articulation links so we can have road trains. I suspect it's not on their priority list because I don't think the road network could cope with it for a start. But it would be cool. Of course, American trucks them, you know, the roads are quite wide, so they, they could in theory do it, but America tends not to have road trains like Australia. If they ever did an Australian road, Australian truck simulator, they'd have to put road trains in. But if and when they're going to do that, I suspect that's years off. Are you letting me go? Okay. Fair enough. You never know with the AI. They'll kind of stop and then you start moving and they start going again. It's like they're playing a game with you. We're almost here, so I hope you've, um, I hope you've enjoyed episode one of this May Contain Nuts. The next episode will, of course, be completely different. It will be driven, hopefully, by your content. Uh, if I don't get asked any questions, then, well, this will be episode one, and it'll be the only episode, lol. But I don't think that'll be the case. Hello, this is interesting car parking. Look at this. We've got, like, a parking area inside the pickup point, which is fairly unusual. So, yeah, go and hit up Twitter. Just remember, please don't at mention me. Please just use the hashtag. It will get read. Trust me, it will get read. And if we get asked enough, I can make this into a weekly thing, which would be quite cool. I think we can just about squeeze that in there. Come on. Yes. Hoping it was going to take that. What did we get? I think we got zero damage, didn't we? Hopefully that was a fairly clean run. Yay! King of the road. Level 47. There we go. Another splendid delivery. Engine off. Right, that's it for episode one of This May Contain Nuts. Please look in the video description for a sample of how to ask a question. And uh, if you do ask a question, you may get it read out in the next episode. So cool, huh? Cool. That's it from me. Take it easy, guys. Until the next time. Happy trucking.